Hello and welcome to Capital Online TV. My name is Anita Nderu and these are the stories making headlines. Nandi Hills legislator Alfred Kater says he is not remorseful over the insults he meted upon government officers at the Gilgil Way Bridge. The first-time Member of Parliament maintains that he was reacting to corruption allegations reportedly engaged by the officers insisting that the story being circulated was one-sided. Kater, who was accompanied by his counterpart, nominated MP Sonia Birdi, said it was his nature to react in the manner in which he did due to the corruption menace that is crippling the country. He urged Kenyans and the government not to look at the fault in his statements but the corruption issue which he was simply trying to point out. But I was not talking to any other Kenyan. I was talking to the officials who are corrupting themselves, those who have refused to be promoted because they, they, they think they should remain there to continue corrupting. I was, I, was talking to, I was not talking to any innocent Kenyan. I was talking to those people who have made our way bridges as toll stations. That is why every truck must leave money in whichever way bridge they pass. So I was not talking to anybody. How can I apologize to criminals? I cannot. Garissa Town Member of Parliament Aidan Dwale has warned teachers from three counties in northern Kenya who have refused to go back to work to report or lose their jobs. Dwale, who was flanked by fellow leaders from Mandera, Garissa and Wajir counties, said he would sanction the government to sack those teachers who will not have reported by Monday next week. The teachers have been adamant that they will not return to the three counties, citing insecurity concerns following the killings of their colleagues in Mandera last year. However, the county government has stated that security has been heightened and there is no cause for worry. The leader of majority went on to accuse NAT Secretary General Wilson Socion for discriminating against the children from the three counties by telling the teachers not to report to work. We care for our teachers, we care for their security, and we are asking them to return to Mandera. If they don't return to Mandera by Monday next week, we are asking Teacher Service Commission to give chance to other Kenyan teachers to be given the jobs and, and go and teach the people, the children of Northern Kenya. A Jubilee Alliance Party candidate who lost the Kajiado Central nomination ticket has decamped to ODM. Mimusi Kanchori says the new party's nomination was marred with irregularities and hopes to clinch the ticket under the Orange Party. Kanchori was received by ODM Secretary General Ababu Namwamba, who has assured that their nomination will be free and fair despite past experience where similar exercises were chaotic. Namwamba is urging Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri to keep off the region's politics and to concentrate with his ministerial post. Kama chama tuko tayari. Tayari tumetangaza shugli ya kumtambua yule ambaye atapeperusha bendera yetu ya chama. Tayari tuko na wagombezi wanne wamo kwenye kinyang'anyiro hiki. Tunamkaribisha ndugu yetu Memusi ambaye atakuwa mmoja wao. And in the world of business, Kenya has been ranked the seventh top investment destination to watch in the emerging markets by the Forbes magazine. The ranking takes note of the massive efforts being made in infrastructure development, the power sector and the improving macroeconomic stability. Commenting on the rankings, the Cabinet Secretary for Industrialization and Enterprise Development, Aidan Mohamed, said there is growing confidence by global investors in the country. Mohamed said the reducing cost of doing business and stable macroeconomic environment continues to make a clear signal that Kenya is ready to do business with the world and we are delighted that investors are showing increasing confidence in our country. And now we take a quick look at the financial market. They call me help. They call me Stacy. They call me her. They call me Jane. For the Coca-Cola bottle with your name on it at your nearest outlet and share happiness with your friends. 
And on matters, sports champions Gore Mahia are on the verge of signing Rwandan striker Medi Kagere to close their transfer signings. Kagere, the 2011 Sakafa Senior Challenge top scorer, arrived in the country on Monday afternoon to hold talks with Gore Mahia. The Amavumbi stars forward, who is a free agent after leaving Albanian side KF Tirana, is set to replace last season top scorer Dancer Nkuma, who ditched Kogalo for Tanzania giant Simba. And that is all we had for you today. For the latest on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV. And do remember to subscribe. My name is Anita Darrow.